Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Glenn. Thank you so much for sending this one out. And I'm very, very, very excited. First off, I have some proper glassware. Went to the founder's 20th anniversary and uh, they were nice uh, to fly me over there. So that's really exciting. But if you don't really know, one of my favorite beers of all time is Founders Imperial Stout. In my opinion, better better than their Barrel Age series of KBS and CBS. And they actually had to discontinue it for a year, but it will be back for 2019. So it doesn't continue for one year, but it's back. And I always thought, man, Founders Imperial is so good, and they already have a barrel program, one of the largest in the country. Why is Founders Imperial not uh, barrel aged? And Glenn sent this one out. This was a brewery only release. This is part of the Mothership series. Uh, this beer comes in at 12.8%. So generally, Founders Imperial is 10.5%. So big beer. This is almost two and a half points higher in ABV. I guess a lot of extraction of uh, bourbon from the barrel. So uh, very excited. This is just like an absolute like treat. I can't wait. So uh, beer is so freaking dark. I mean, pitch black pouring out of the bottle has pretty much like a deep brown head to it. Um, it looks like chocolate milk almost. It's absolutely crazy. Let's get the aroma on this one. Wow. Yeah. So this is lots of uh, bright uh, bourbony barrel character. It has that sharpness to it. Sometimes you get it really uh, well integrated. This has a little bit that more of that boozy spike to it. The oak comes in, toffee, molasses, rich, rich, deep chocolate notes. I can definitely see a little bit of this. I mean, you know, we're talking conversation about familiar beers. A little bit of this like bourbon county thing go going on because um, you get the rich sweetness of the base beer coming through, but also the, just kind of that spike of bourbon. Yeah, there's a woody character, but you know, actually it's not quite like bourbon county. Bourbon county on the nose to me is quite smooth and um, uh, de uh, decadent. This to me is more woody, char, barrel character, oak combined with that rich undernote of the big, rich imperial stuff that's underneath this. Cheers. <laughs> um, first impression, impact of flavor. You guys saw it on my face. Holy smokes. Golly. That is a lot. Um, that is big beer. Holy smokes. Mm. So first impression is that this is still Founders Imperial Stout. That big, rich, burly, robust Imperial Stout. Big, chewy, thick, tons of rich chocolate notes, that light kind of almost almost smokiness that the beer has, a like light note of it. Um, and that just like decadent sweetness. It's like just molten lava cake, rich, um, just like, pouring just like tons of just chocolate cake batter just like just drowning your palate and it has that base beer uh, coming through but it has another layer to it instead as well up front you're punched with sharp oak and barrel character and that kind of bourbon note um, it, it moves on to a kind of vanilla sweetness and Founders Imperial based out even has a weird kind of vanilla sweetness to it even though it is not a burn barrel aged product without the vanillins coming from the oak. Boy. Well. Yep. And it has that like light kind of like hop character on the back end almost like a little bit like black tea that I get. And it's just decadent. It's rich, rich, rich. Um, nice, nice. I really like it. This is... To explain it to you guys better, you know, I, I think that generally there's a line that you draw uh, between Imperial style, uh, uh, burn barrel age Imperial Stouts or uh, barrel age Imperial Stouts. Some of them are just like the, the barrel just like flows into the beer. This one's more of a layered kind of experience where you get the richness and the qualities of Founders Imperial, which is just absolutely amazing. And they're just adding another complexity to it. You're adding the, that kind of oak character, the uh, bourbon, the little bit of booze. Um, as, as I drink it more, you sense that it has been uplifted a little bit more alcohol so you get that bourbon you know a little bit of a twinge of alcohol bite on the back end but it's still a base beer still there and still like world class uh, for that reason um very nice you know honestly i i, I want to say that um i probably just like the base beer more you know i i know i was amping this up to be super super exciting um I, I, there's just something so beautiful about that beer but almost all of that if not most of that beer is still in this glass and in this bottle. So as for rating, I'm going to give it 
Mm. That is dang good. It actually like, to me, ends up almost like taking an edge off of the beer as in a point off the beer because it's gotten a little bit more boozy. It's got a little bit more kind of just like berm character, whereas I want it to just be decadent imperial style. So um, let's go with the 98 on this one. 98. It is still just amazing uh, Imperial style, uh, Founders Imperial, but just uh, a little bit different. But if you're a huge kind of uh, bourbon barrel aged Imperial style head, uh, I think you're going to like that, especially if you're one for something that's a little bit more, um, again, like barrel character, really like using the casks, showing the cask instead of um, integrating the cask into the beer a little bit more harmonious. This is really like if you like bourbon, if you like your poppy kind of in your face kind of bourbon barrel aged Imperial style, so you're going to like this one. This is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you so much, Founders. This is amazing. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.